hi everyone in this video we'll uh, upload an image and we will display that using php okay we will upload that to the database to the mysql and we will display that back using php so i have installed the exam server and the exam server the apache in mysql is running and uh, let's come to the local host and php my admin okay and we will create a table and then we will sit uh, let's come to the crowd i will create a table here let's create a table images and the column name should be we have two columns in this let's go and the first column would be the id integer that should be auto increment and the second column would be image or we can say file it should be worker and the length should be for example 50 and let's go and save this yeah we have this uh, table now so now let's go to our visual studio code i have created a folder in htdocs c to the zam folder and to the htdocs and then in the page in this table i have these two files upload and connection first we will create our connection so to create our connection let's start our php script connection is equal to mysqli connect and the first thing is the server that is local host second one is the user which is the root the password we didn't see it and the db the db name is crack let's echo column is equal to equal to false then we should uh, die connection error That should be my CQLI connect error. Now we will uh, first we will create a form. Here we should have a form input field type should be text a uh, file sorry and name is equal to image let's um, we would like to write our php script in the same file so we don't need action so i will like the method which is post and also ink type for the file uploading multiple oh sorry Multi-for forum data. So let's create a button. First, I will click this. Submit or upload. Type is equal to submit, and the name is equal to submit. So now we will display our form here under this. So, so first I will upload the, the image. Let's write our PHP script. First I will um, import or include the connection db connection.php after that i will just tick if the forum was submitted if is set post submit if the forum is submitted so then i will execute this the following code uh, first i will get the file file is equal to files and file name is uh, image with us 
and it's the name of that it is file name all right our temp name is equal to files image and also tmp temp name then the folder where we would like to store our image so we would like to create a folder in this fetch folder let's name it images okay we will upload our files here so i will write images slash dot the file name okay the file we have uploaded yeah this one so now we will run our query to insert the image to the database query is equal to mysqli query the first thing we should write the connection name okay we have created here and we imported this connection and the second one will be to write our query insert into uh, the, the table name was image i think let's check that uh, images images and i will just enter the uh, file values file name so now we will upload it to the folder okay to upload that to the folder we will just come right here for more uploaded file and the first thing is that to write our temp name and the second thing is sorry should write temp name and the second thing is the um, folder yeah uh, so if it, it has uploaded so we will print some message file uploaded successfully else file not upload it after uploading the file so now we will display that uh, we can we will not design it okay we will just uh, display that so here first of all we will add the file of this uh, folder images images slash then we will uh, fetch now the image name from the database so to fetch that let's write and open our php script so we will run our query first result is equal to mysql i query the first we will have Pass the connection, the new light select steric from images. After that, uh, we will just try it while loop. Where mm -hmm. is equal to my SQLI picture. I saw, and I will pass the result like this. and it's right here the echo uh, row and the name of the image that was filed in the database so now let's close back the php the while loop so okay it all uh, everything is okay so now let's run our uh, server localhost and we will go to fetch folder in fetch folder we will go to upload 
in the upload right now we don't have any image and let's submit of an image for example this one press the submit button yeah see it file uploaded successfully and we have the image here if we upload another one let's for example this one and submit it file uploaded see both files are this okay the first one cloud operation of php and a bit data of my sql in php so it was you can design it okay i have just uh, uploaded and show you the functionality using php you know with my sql to upload an image or file and display that back on the browser so it was all about this functionality so if you have liked this video uh, subscribe our youtube channel and thanks for watching